Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough on how to obtain Glimmer. This is the new secret Murloc battle pet that was just found in the Shadowlands pre-patch. So you want to head here to Grizzly Hills in Northrend, and you're going to want to fly all the way to Venture Bay. Now, just south of Venture Bay, there's going to be a few icebergs. Just follow to where I go in the video. You're going to be looking for a Glimmerfin Scout. This is a purple Murloc that will spawn jump into the water and leave behind a quest item if he's not here just be patient there's probably going to be a few other people waiting given how new this is eventually this mob will spawn as he's about to do here jump into the water go and then leave behind the scale which you can then pick up and this will begin your questing journey to obtain this pet this is where you need to now fly to Borean Tundra. You need to find King Murgulmurgul and hand in the scale. Now, it's just quite the journey. Once you arrive, he's going to give you a follow-up quest, which will ask you to fly all the way back to Venture Bay. So it's going to be quite a long fly there and then quite a long fly back. It is a little bit annoying. But once you get back, all of the quests that you have left to complete are all in that very same area. So that is the only travel that you will need to be doing. Once here, you need to just get 10 meaty crab chunks from the crabs in the area. You're just going to swim down to the ocean bed, pretty much below where you found the initial scale to begin this. There's going to be loads of crabs, so don't worry about player competition. Just grind out 10 of these, and then a little bit to the west, this will all be on your map and with waypoints and stuff, so don't worry about getting lost here. It is all in a very small area. You will find this shipwreck. Inside is the Glimmerfin tribe of Murlocs, and this is where you will be kind of handing in the quests and getting the follow-up quests and completing your quest chain. The next quest here just requires you to swim a little bit further west to another iceberg where you would just kill one quest mob, loot him, and then return. It's kind of these very simple quests. It's nothing like too crazy or secret. So at this point, you could just follow the quests as you go. Next up, the Murlocs want you to retrieve a giant pearl from near the ocean bed. It is guarded by a giant elite there. You do not have to fight this elite, just be careful, swim around the elite, grab your quest item and leave. The biggest enemy here is going to be that fatigue bar that you see going down because you are away from land and quite far down underwater. This is where you need some form of swim speed increase. If you don't have a swim speed increase, you might not make it back up and you're going to be dying quite a few times to fatigue. In my case, I'm using the Artifact Fishing Pole from Legion, the Underlight Angler. If with the correct perk unlocked, this turns me into a fish in water and increases my swim speed. Uh, Legion also did introduce a number of swim speed increasing mounts, like the underwater mounts that you can use. So try and grab hold of one of those. If you're a druid, obviously, you've got your, your aquatic form. So there are ways around it, but just try your best to navigate that fatigue. Once you've done that, you will be asked to complete a pet battle. Now, it's not as bad as it sounds. This pet battle is extremely easy. All you need is a team of 25, well, level 25 pets, and make sure that at least one of those pets, ideally, is a flying pet, because this Murloc will use two aquatic types, and flying is just stronger against aquatic. Otherwise, it, it's really not difficult. I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step of this fight, because it's just very basic, and you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever. Once you've done that, you are asked to retrieve some for well, three different types of seaweed from the ocean. And again, this is where the fatigue bar will come into play. You're going to need that swim speed increase. And some of the seaweed is electrified and obviously combine that with the fatigue bar. If you're trying to get out or get in and out before you fatigue and die, if you hit some of the seaweed and get electrocuted and stunned, it will just keep you down there for longer and increase your chances of getting fatigued and dying. Just try and follow what I do here. I tend to just swim above the seaweed and then just swim straight down instead of trying to fly in between it. It's just a lot easier to navigate. And you see there my fatigue bar was getting extremely low, so I just took a little pause, swam back up, wait for it to recharge, and then I can go back in for that final seaweed and again here so this is just like a wall of electrified seaweed you just swim in behind it. it this should be extremely easy but just in case you're having trouble with the fatigue and getting in and out just follow what i do in the video and then lastly you'll just be tasked with killing an elite it's actually the first group quest i've seen in wow in in, in, a, in a long time <laughs> but i just swam in grabbed the tag and uh that's it Hand that quest in and you'll be awarded Glimmer, your very own purple Murloc battle pet. And that's the secret done. 
So uh, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. All of my links are in the description box down below. I will be coming back for more videos in Shadowlands. I'm just waiting for it to come out later on in November now. That's all for this one, so I will see you soon.